fireisland.net. Today we're going to be talking about a solar PV monitor system. So in a standard system, we have a PV array going to a certified grid tie and inverter that is feeding power to the grid. Now, with a net metering program, you have your local utility install a second meter that's going to show how much power you feed to the grid. And that's how we're, most people calculate your payback, your return. But on the certified inverters, there is a display that's going to tell you all the power that's being generated by your whole system. So let's take a closer look at the display. On our display, we have our keys to navigate around through the menus and to see everything and a very small LCD display. And on our left here, we have some LEDs that are referenced and these are going to tell us what's being generated currently at this time. Now, this you have to be standing in front of the inverter to get this. So if you want to be at a, a little farther away from this inverter and see the same information, each inverter comes with uh, provided software and you can connect to it using a serial port. Now here's an example of one of our inverters sold at BuyerIsland.net and here we have our PV cables coming in feeding the DC, the AC going out at this point and underneath this cover uh, we do have a data port that we can connect a serial cable to a computer that has a serial port, install the software, and see the user interface to see everything that's going on. Now, a serial cable has a bulky end, it's hard to fit through walls, and they're not that long. So there are different methods to connect to a computer, and that's what we're going to talk about, some different ways we can do this today. So our first is by using hardware. Now this hardware is an IP server. Now we have wireless and wired, these two different ways of doing it. So with this, the RS-232 cable would come in and it would go out RF to a wireless router and you would connect to your computer that way. This wired, you would have the serial cable going to this RS-232 port, going out network cable to the router that your computer is connected to and making it available for you to view that information. So let's have an example to, to see a visual how this is done. In this example, we're going to use wireless. So here's our home. We're down here, but our inverter is at a far distance away within 100 to 300 feet, which would make the cable very inconvenient. So here, this icon is representing our grid tied inverter that has the RS-232 port. We would connect the serial cable to our IP server, and the IP server is the size of a pack of cigarettes, and you just mount that on the wall next to it. RF, it would transfer from 100 to 300 feet to our wireless router, and then our computer is connected to that, and we can use the software to view the data being put out by the inverter. Now, let's say you're an installer, and you install 20 to 50 systems every month, and you want to offer a system to your customers and to financial institutions, government agencies for these government programs that are being developed every month. So here, here's a service and a way to do this. You can offer the service by sending the information that's already at the router. You can send it out by assigning another IP address at that router, send it out to the internet, ones and zeros, and you can send it to one location. And this example is showing here's two, two locations. How we can go to one port or one server and all the data going into a database and you've set up a TCP server using the listing ports for your locations and it's all in one point. So how can we view all this and how can people do this? The easiest is the World Wide Web. Here's buyerisland.net set up a manager's link and we click on that and once we do that we come up to a solar monitor portal here you would put in your name you would put in your password and you would log right in so now here comes up our user interface here is our, our browser date and time showing us our address we have some icons where we can log out or we can 
download this information to an Excel spreadsheet. We can change the software to do whatever you would want to customize it for your needs. Now here in this user interface, this is showing us our grid. This is telling us it's the grid view, showing us our voltage of our grid, it's what the current is, and showing us our panels, what AC power we're, we're putting out at this time. Here, the next tab is showing us our preferences, or our parameters, I'm sorry. And this is going telling us our, our voltage, what frequency our inverter's on. It's telling us the power, the watts, kilowatts. It's even going and telling us what our internal temperature is of our inverter. Next is the key point to this software, which is a monitoring software. This is showing, and it's gonna show what we're doing. This first one is showing us by the hour. Here we have 24 hours. It's gonna say what happens every hour. The next one is showing us by the date. 31 days displayed here it will show what happens every day in that month below that we have by the month we have 12 months here and it's going to show how much power we're generating every month again here at current time we would set up with the internal clock of the inverter and it's displayed here again we can download this well what if what if you're the installer you're a large corporation you want to offer a true monitoring system we can change the software to do just that. And here, we you would have a portal to get into all this. We make the software, put in your company name, put in your password, enter, and here we come to the ABC Solar Company. Here's our address. Here we have some icons. Again, our browser date and time. But below this, we have our systems that we've install, installed that we want to monitor. Now with this, we've got here, we've got A, B, C, and D, and we've set this up. A is one city, B is another city. So we've got four cities here. We can connect by the city, but let's just start out by saying here's 432 Top Street, it's in city A, and the array size is 1,480 watts. And if this was connected, it would go and display this information. So that is an overview of your whole system. But using our calculator, we've got a more clean way to look at it. Let's look at this. So here's our solar monitor calculator. Here is by zone. This is showing us today, this month, this year, each zone. And again, we can download an Excel spreadsheet. If you walk away from your computer for 20 to 40 minutes and hey, it's two o'clock, you're at a peak time for uh, solar power and you just click on, your, on this total to refresh all this data. Now, if you just want to see by zone A, okay, we click on zone A, and here we can see that we have three locations in zone A in this city. And again, this is telling us what's happening there. And again, we can download another spreadsheet. Uh, we can view some graphs that we could print out, and we can just by going to all this. So now let's just go just to the one location now. And again, we're back to a user interface that's user friendly. And again, we got our grid telling us what it's connected to, our system parameters, and again, this energy and the ability to print this out. Um, all of this is for convenience. We can make the software to do whatever you would want to do. More of a checks and balances. So if your utility company says this, but your inverter says that, you've got a way uh, to show that you have the proof and they have the proof, etc. It, it all comes back to monitoring and this is just one way of doing it so if you would have any other questions on how you can do that you can contact us going by going to our website buyerisland.net or contacting us directly at support at buyerisland.net thank you for watching and we hope to talk to you soon think green